Hey YouTube, welcome to another celebrity birthday video and an update on it. A lot of different episodes. Um, I have been, I haven't been making episodes on my YouTube channel lately, mainly because of the summer. My my room has been really hot lately, and I've been losing energy because of that. And yes, I am drinking water. In fact, I would have done that even before the summer. But anyway, the, I was losing energy so much that I just couldn't find the time. But I'm finally here. And the second thing is that I was on vacation last month. We went to this really nice resort in Montana. And if you live there, I suggest you go over there for a vacation yourself. As long as you have a mask, of course. But anyway, it, it was a place called Quinn's. Q U I N at apostrophe S. And it's a really nice resort. It has a hot tub, a pool, and it has really nice log cabins with comfy rooms. My mom said she's actually been there before with my dad. So yeah. Like I said, if you're near, if you live in Montana or live near it, I suggest you should try it out. But be careful, it's expensive. So yeah. I am definitely sure I'll make a lot of the videos, including a video for Banjo and Kazooie's one year anniversary in Smash. So, I'll definitely do that. That's also for Banjo and Tooie's 20th anniversary this year. So yeah, here we are. This next one is actually for a character I, make, I really like. Today is August 5th, 2020, which means it's the birthday of Shaniqua Shande. And the character I'm referring to that I like is Sunstone for Steven Universe. And she appeared in both the finale of Steven Universe and in one of the episodes of Steven Universe Future. And the episode was in, it was called it a very special episode. And the reason I like Sunstone is because I always liked how that she would often break the fourth wall. And she has a really great voice. Especially for various quotes like, Oh, yeah! Which was used at one of the times that Steven and Garnet fused. Which is totally funny. And the ending quote I thought of is definitely another of my favorite quotes from her. So yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely one of my favorite fusions. Originally it was sardonyx because she talks like a... Like an old... Kind of like an old talk show. And she's kind of making references to what a talk show would have been like. But when I learned about Sunstone and her personality, I gotta say, she's definitely my favorite right now. And originally I wasn't gonna mention this in this video, but it only reference the fact that she has a YouTube channel. But she does have a YouTube channel. But I like, because like I mentioned, and um, the funniest thing is that she was once performing in a, in like a singing like a singing contest like thing, online online, and she up, she uploaded it, but she was wearing really tight jeans, and this is probably the weirdest part, that her character Crystal, that she was at singing, but then she crouched down and her pants ripped. Yep, that's definitely pretty weird. But yeah, I've actually made references like this before. They're pretty hilarious anyway. Because if they could do it in various kids shows, it's a little a comic relief, then I could do it on my YouTube channel. Plus, I've seen some YouTubers actually make a reference to that multiple times. And Lucas even approves of that, thinking that it's actually pretty funny. Speaking of Lucas, I'm not the only one who likes Sunstone. Lucas also likes Sunstone. There have even been a lot of awesome fan art of her. One of my favorites definitely has to be this one where she actually has abs. <laughs> yep, abs. Which makes sense that she is a very strong stone. Or gem. Sometimes I say stone. Since she is called Sunstone. But yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny. And like I said, I really like her voice, and I actually did hear Shaniqua's voice in real life, and she, and she definitely sounds like Sunstone. 
I very much like her. Not only does she sound like her, her, her Shaniqua also her also looks like Sunstone. Her, she also her, I've seen her in real life, and she has she has really big poofy hair, and that very much makes her very much like Sunstone. That mainly because it, that Sunstone has really big hair, kind of made it look like a either a fireball or even the sun. And it, I was, and one of the things I always liked about Sunstone, like I said, she breaks the fourth wall. And I always liked it when characters break the fourth wall, especially when seeing games like Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. <laughs> so yeah, breaking the fourth wall is pretty funny. But that's mainly because she's giving off various lessons, such as always manage your time wisely, wear a helmet, and be careful with electric sockets. That's definitely really good lessons to children. We also looked around on various websites for any cosplayers of Sunstone, and this one cosplayer did a really good job. She actually got a really gigantic mask to cover her entire head. And she even put sunglasses, but don't worry, she was able to see. She even posted a picture of what she sees in the mask. But anyway, the, the Shaniqua actually shared it on her multi, her, her multimedia. Which includes her Tumblr and her Instagram. And yes, I actually know of Instagram, but I never used it. But yeah, even she thought the cosplay was awesome. And she would like to have that. I wish I would think, hmm, maybe she could do her sunstone voice while cosplaying. That'd actually be really fun. Maybe she could upload that. If not, then that's perfectly fine. I don't really care. So, Shaniqua Shande, I hope you have a great birthday. And I hope you stay safe. Because, of course, of the disease that's been going on. But, yeah. I hope you have a great day. And I hope, and I hope that... And things are going well where you live. So, happy birthday. And here's the quote, one of my favorite quotes from Sunstone. You're rockin' thou, Sunstone's here to shine.